Hey guys, me like big boom here showing you guys how to complete the Mark II Easter egg, get the accompanying achievement, and be given the mythical and legendary Shadow Stalker Mark II, a semi-automatic DMR of a Shadow Stalker with 20 rounds to its magazine and has the same damage as its alien sniper counterpart. This easter egg was added earlier today in the Halloween update for Unturned and is a multi-step process that requires a lot of running around, guns, and ammo, and a little bit of skill too. Now, I currently can't make much sense of the storyline behind this easter egg, uh, perhaps it will be saved for a later date, uh, but for now I can tell you that it is associated with space pirates. It sounds weird, I know, but it's just... It's just, space, it's just space pirates, okay? You'll see, alright? Now the first step of this easter egg is to make sure that you've completed the quest from the doctor lady where she wants you to collect research capsules. Now this is actually one of the more difficult quests available on the Liberator and if you haven't completed it, here are the locations of the research capsules. They are in the dead zone, so you will need a gas mask and some filters, um, and the research capsules themselves uh, look like this. They're small little pink battery looking things. Uh, now it will take you around two filters to collect them all, and once you have done that, give the capsules to the doctor lady to complete the quest, then ask her if she found anything in those capsules. She will tell you that she hasn't even scratched the surface, but she did find a Scorpion 7 key card and gives it to you as a souvenir. Now this next step is optional, though I would recommend doing it because it's actually really, really cool. So head on over to the St. Petersburg Metro Tunnels during the night, it must be night by the way, very important, um, and act like you're completing the Soul Crystal Easter Egg. Head over to the symbol at the end of the collapsed tunnel, press K to open the area chat window, then type Anastasia to open the door. Now you can lure zombies into this area and kill them to collect their souls, or you can place down a horde beacon, whatever works for you. Now once you collect 20 zombie souls, you'll be teleported to this creepy abandoned Scorpion 7 facility. Now if you've done this soul crystal easter egg, then this place will be familiar to you, but what might not be familiar to you is this door. Now since you have the key card, you can open it. Inside, you'll see a bloodied map of what appears to be Russia with a bunch of arrows scribbled on it and a skull. Now, the arrows may appear to be pointing at random locations and don't make any sense, uh, but they're not. If you overlay the Russia map over this drawn one, you will realize how perfectly things line up. Now, look again. The skull has an arrow pointing from it to St. Petersburg, there's an X off the coast of Vladimir Farm, and there are three arrows pointing all to the radio tower locations in Russia. The arrow pointing at the western tower starts at Karyev, the arrow pointing at the southern tower starts in Moscow, and the arrow pointing at the eastern tower starts at Yekaterinburg. Now all of this is extremely useful information, but don't worry about remembering it all, I'm doing that for you. To start, let's take a skull and five bones and put them in St. Petersburg like the map said. This was the most difficult part of the easter egg without assistance because you have to find tiny little bones scattered all around Russia. Uh, it wasn't very enjoyable, but that's why this video is here. Now to start, let's get the easy one out of the way, it's the skull, it's sitting on a scale on the counter across from the scientist on the liberator, pretty simple there. Now the next items are bones, now there are five of them and they are located at Nordvik Farm, Camp Kazan, Moscow, Zavod, and the Stonehenges between St. Petersburg and Karyev. Now at Nordvik Farm, look inside the well, right in front of the farmhouse, the bone is sitting on the ground inside. In Camp Kazan, the bone is sitting in the blue and white boat, and Moscow's bone is at the bottom of the collapsed subway entrance by the Triumphal Arch. Now in Zavod, it's inside this tank right here, the third one in the row, and the last bone is sitting in the middle-ish area of the stone henges between St. Petersburg and Karyev. Now before you deliver these bones to St. Petersburg, there's one more item that you will need, a treasure chest. Now what's convenient about pirates is that they always mark the location of all their riches with a giant red X, and the bloodied map had an X off the coast of Vladimir Farm, so let's head there. Now the X isn't perfectly located, the actual treasure chest location is a bit closer to the shore right here. It's sitting right by the crashed pirate ship underwater, relatively easy to see, pick it up and make your way over to St. Petersburg. Now there are two ways of looking at this map's mention of bones in St. Petersburg, and both are correct. 
One is that they want you to put the bones right next to the soul crystal so you can summon a pirate spirit to take you somewhere other than the Scorpion 7 place. The other is that it's a sign saying that St. Petersburg is where you are going to die. Now to make sure that you don't die, bring a lot of ammo and medical supplies. A lot of all of that. Now once you have all your gear, take your bones and your skull and your chest and put them down in the glowing spots beside the soul crystal. From here, you're going to have to capture some more souls, so lure some zombies or put down a horde beacon, whatever works, but once you collect 20 zombie souls, you'll be teleported to a different location, this time in a horrific gladiator arena in Scorpion 7 with nothing but you and a massive fire-breathing, acid-spitting, rock-throwing, ground-pounding, electric-zapping pirate zombie inside. So I wish you good luck. He seemingly has twice as much health as a regular mega zombie, and using the skills you hopefully learned from killing the individual zombie bosses, you should be able to identify which move he is going to use so you can prepare for it. So if he reaches for his mouth and acid is pouring out, be ready for him to shoot acid. Or if he squats down like he's going to jump, prepare for a ground pound, stuff like that. Now once you have killed him, you'll see a poof of his soul in red dust and stuff, uh, and you'll be teleported back to Russia. This time you'll notice is that there are three multicolored mini soul crystals around the bigger soul crystal. One is purple, one is yellow, and one is green. If you look at the achievement picture, you'll notice that it has three lines, purple, yellow, and green. Lastly, if you look at the map, you'll notice that the arrows are pointing to all three radio locations. Now I think you guys get the idea. Pick up those soul crystals. Now because the arrows start at specific locations, we're going to the arrows starting locations instead of the radio towers themselves. So to start, the western radio towers arrow starts at Karyev. Head there, and at the bottom you'll see a spot where you can put the soul crystal. Once again, you're going to have to collect souls, so round up some zombies, or put down a horde beacon. The soul crystal will disappear once you have collected enough, and the radio tower will now be powered. Head over to the western tower, and activate the control box at the top. Next is underneath the triumphal arch. You'll see a spot for your soul crystal. Collect souls and activate the southern tower. Lastly, you'll need to go to the graveyard in Yekaterinburg. Place the soul crystal here to collect souls for the eastern tower. Once you've activated this one, you're set. All three beams meet in a central location to create a massive vertical white beam just south of Moscow. Now from here, I think you know where to go. This is essentially the end of the Mark II Easter Egg. Go on over and claim your reward. This time, it's very special. Now, aside from getting that Mark II achievement that everyone's been wondering about for the past few days, you'll also be given this insane Shadow Stalker Mark II, a semi-automatic Shadow Stalker with 20 rounds to a magazine and very low recoil. It also doesn't have any bullet drop at all, like the original Shadow Stalker, and it can still destroy walls and vehicles like the original Shadow Stalker does. It is extremely powerful, almost overpowered, but to combat that, you get 20 shots, and those are the only 20 shots you will ever get. Once they are gone, they are gone for good, so make sure you use those 20 shots wisely. Now for the most part, in my opinion, this gun fits better in a trophy case than it does in your hand, so you can show all your friends and players on the server that you completed the Mark II Easter Egg. Now one super cool thing that you can take away from this gun is its awesome scope. I mean, just look at it. It's like a mini flip-up flat screen TV on your gun that has a ton of zoom. You can actually take this scope off and put it on any gun that you'd like, as long as it supports a sight attachment, of course. Now here it is on an Echo. I mean, that's pretty cool, is it not? Now that does pretty much wrap up everything regarding this Easter egg. This is really really cool. I love it when Nelson does these kinds of things to Unturned. It adds a ton of value to playing in single player or alone with friends, and it also is an interesting story to learn about too. Soul Crystal achievements, Mark II achievements, I'd love to see more of this in the future. How about you guys? I'd also like to give a massive thank you to viewers of my Twitch stream earlier today. It was absolutely insane, over 3,000 viewers, and just like the last Easter egg, I definitely would not have been able to figure this out without your guys' support. If you guys have any questions, regarding this easter egg if anything is confusing things along those lines be sure to comment down below and i'll do my best to help you anyway that's all i have for now thank you guys so much for watching make sure to rate comment subscribe and do all that you wish because you like big cool is out